Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. We are with Thermal Grizzly once again, and I have a different face with me this time. Roman is sick, but that's okay because we have Joe, and Joe knows a lot about this stuff. He just went through it all with me. There's a lot of new products, a lot of new information. So I was like, Joe, can you come and help me out with all of this? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so here he is. <laughs> so Our Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI's excellent QD OLED gaming monitors. Offering perfect blacks, infinite contrast, and lightning fast response times, MSI QD OLED monitors are the best way to level up your gaming experience. And there are options for everyone, whether you're after an incredible 4K panel or a blistering 500 hertz refresh rate, all with the latest features like True HDR, a custom graphene film to cool the display, and HDMI 2.1 with full console support. Check the links below to learn more about MSI's QD OLEDs. Also supporting our Computex trip this year is Thermal Grizzly and their Duranaut high performance thermal paste offering extreme long-term stability combined with outstanding thermal conductivity. It's not electrically conductive and won't harden over time. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. So we'll start with the Debauer bench table. So this is the third Thermal Grizzly uh, Debauer project. And with this one, uh, things got quite carried away between, uh, between Roman and Elmore. Uh, so this was his kind of dream bench table because he likes things very simple and generally just uses a PCB with standoffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he was thinking like together with Elmore, what if the PCB does a lot more useful things? Mm -hmm. So there's incorporated uh, essentially a USB input, a fan header input from the CPU, mm -hmm. an RGB input, and a six pin PCIe power input. And with those uh, four inputs, it has RGB in the base, that's the simplest thing. Uh, there are four fan zones that can be used to configure all of the fans. One of them is dedicated to pumps that has three amp outputs. All the other ones are one amp and they all come with a little toggle switch. Mm -hmm. So you can either take the CPU PDM or you can override with 50 and 100% values. Mm -hmm. Then the data input from USB gets split between uh, four SD card slots and four uh, USB A slots, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you can have your mouse and keyboard plugged in front or back of the bench. And there are also two USB-C ports which are powered. So you can charge with these or run like high current stuff on those. Yeah. So if he wants to switch between AMD platforms, Intel platforms, he just has to reconnect the SATA, the USB, all that stuff, and it's all there, ready to go. He's yeah. not completely rebuilding the whole thing every time yeah. and having to disconnect and reconnect absolutely everything. Yeah, and also when you might be comparing two platforms that aren't exactly the same, where the fans won't respond in the same way or anything like that, to have the toggle like 50 to 100 percent is much easier than installing a different piece of software or changing it in a BIOS. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, neat. And it's got the acrylic sort of RGB layer that comes with it. So that's all part of it. Everything is part of it. Okay. So, so this is the finished product. The light diffuser layer, and there's the, there's an aluminium base just to protect it all. And uh, these little extensions fit 120 and 140 fans and radiators. And VRM cooling, all that sort of stuff. Yep, and a little place in the base for a power supply. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this is the third iteration you were saying? Well, it's the, it's the third the Bauer Elmore project yeah. oh, from okay. Thermal Grizzly. Okay, yeah. yeah, the first was the ruler. Gotcha. Remember yeah. the, the little soldering experiment yeah, and the yeah. coaster. Okay, so they've really upped their game, right? Yeah, this is a big one. Uh, I'm not sure what's <laughs> going to come next from them, but I'm, I'm here for it. So we'll move along to what's probably uh, I want to say my favorite Thermal Grizzly product because I did love the wire view and I've talked with Roman a lot about it, yep. made a few suggestions and really since the wire view was first introduced, uh, the high power connector seems to have only gotten worse. So with, with the way it works and how Nvidia has implemented it, any safeguards that it did have, they seem to keep removing. Uh, and so this helps with the wire view too, will help with that. So there's sensing for each one of the six, uh, 12 volt connections, yep. as I understand yep. it. Yep. So I'll let you t t tell, me, uh, tell us a bit about it. And if I've got any questions, we'll go from there. Yep. So uh, very similar to the Astral, there's a shunt resistor for each of the plus 12 volt pins. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can measure the current draw on each pin. Uh, there's also uh, temperature measuring on each pin and in the vicinity of each connector. There's two temperature inputs. Mm -hmm. So you can attach one to a backplate, one like around the connector. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, there's a USB-C 
for reconfiguring it. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy with sort of the default settings for the alarms and for the warnings, or you want to just upload a different kind of skin to it, mm -hmm. stuff like that, uh, there's USB-C, but it's not necessary to use it. Yes. Uh, everything will function with just the power. You don't need any software. It will just work out of the box like the old Yview. Um, and another addition is this two-pin header. Mm -hmm. And that can uh, have a Y splitter that goes between the power button on the case and the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So the Y view can actually shut down the system. Right, so if it detects an imbalance in the, in, across those six lines, yeah. and can you set like tolerances for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or, or uh, if you wanted it to be set to over temperature, or over current, or yep. current imbalance, or just overall power draw. So if DeBow was to come and cut four of the wires, yeah. that, would, that would stop him from destroying the computer. It, yeah. uh, good. <laughs> so a DeBauer proof uh, function there. Excellent. Well, yeah, I'm really keen to check that out. As I said, I'm a big fan of the Wireview stuff, and that was what we were suggesting. He could add to a new one. He said it would be very difficult, and he did say it would make it uh, bigger and bulkier, which yeah. it clearly has, but I think that's still fine. I mean. That's going to be still pretty small hanging off an RTX 5090 graphics card, for example. So... Yeah, in, in the context of a four-slot cooler, it's not that big. No, that's right. <laughs> so, we'll move along. Delitted CPUs. Tell us a bit about those. Uh, so, we've been offering these for a few months now, and they're extremely popular. We have uh, a 9800X3D and a 9950X3D that you can buy from the Thermal Grizzly web shop. They will come delitted and with a two-year warranty from us. That's, that's a big deal because if to delid them yourselves, you first of all have to invest in the delitting tools to do it, yeah. and you void your warranty with with AMD. Yeah. But if you if you guys do it, you provide a warranty. So it's not the warranty you're providing is the Thermal Grizzly warranty for that delitted product. It's not an AMD warranty. So, exactly. Yeah. So that's a big deal. Uh, yeah, really good. I'm not surprised you're struggling to keep those in stock because if you're an overclocker, that's a pretty hot item. And you do have, Thermal Grizzly has a water block for the delitted CPU already, but that's a past release product. Yeah, we have, we have the micro um, and we also have the upgraded heat spreader. Mm -hmm. So you might just want to have it to change the heat spreader okay. to then run with the custom loop block. Sure. Yeah. Yep. All right, interesting. Um, we've. I think we've pretty much covered all of these on the channel before and we've looked at them at previous shows. The Duranauts, obviously the new thermal paste, which we're actually advertising here at Computex. Yep. So we are very familiar with that one. But some stuff going on over here. Should we move around to the end here? Can I pick that up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, 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 sure. It's just a cable in Okay. It. Wow. Okay. That's, um, that's up there with the heaviest 5090 I've picked up. <laughs> I'm scared putting that down. So yeah, it's very slightly lighter than the air cooler. It is, but isn't not it? much of the Astral. Yeah, of the Astral. Yeah, I suppose the Astral just being so much physically larger, there's more of it to grab, and you because it's a giant brick, you expect it to yeah. be heavy. But this being so compact, uh, yeah, surprisingly heavy, and that's obviously large, in in part largely due to the uh, water block. Yep. So by far the heaviest component, the most complex, and the longest to produce is this cold plate. Uh, this gets machined from both sides, and then the entire thing is glass blasted. Mm -hmm. uh, then it gets machined again. And then throughout this process, it has to be protected from fingerprints. Nobody can handle it. Um, and then all these faces, which are contacts for thermal pads, or for thermal putty if you want to use it, uh, they all get a mirror finish. And then the whole thing's nickel plated, so you get from the front side, perfect sandblasting with no machining marks and from the backside, perfect mirror contacts. Yeah, it looks extremely high quality. <laughs> so yeah, that's impressive. And you've got the, yep. I'd call this more the cold plate, but I guess the whole thing is, right? Yeah, so, yeah both cold plates, this is the cold plate for the die. Yep. And this will be used on all of our 5090 blocks. Mm -hmm. And they are 0.2 millimeter microfins. Impressive. And yeah, so this is the Astral version, which is your I guess your initial run will start with the Astral, yeah. and you're going to see what demand and stuff's like there, and then move on to other flagship 5090s, whether it be like an Aorus Master or a Supreme or stuff like that. Just, exactly, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah, hopefully it's very popular, and um, those of you with uh, AC, well, uh, MSI, Gigabyte cards and stuff like that, you can, um, you can get your new Thermal Grizzly water block. And over here, I've noticed we have 
A bit of PCB, what's going on with this? Uh, so this is essentially a totally blank empty PCB that the first thing we needed it for was a piece of packaging. Mm -hmm. Because when we assembled a block with no card inside, mm -hmm. the backplate would get bent inside the box. Right. So uh, this is that firstly to pack out the backplate. Yep, sandwich plate type deal. Yeah, yep. and then we're like, if we have it, what could we do with it? Mm -hmm. uh, we decided to add the gold finger so you can essentially just unblock, uh, unbox the GPU block yep. and directly fit it into a motherboard mm -hmm. as if it were a graphics card already. Build your whole loop, make the tubing, uh, get everything ready. Right. And then when you're ready with the graphics card, take it out, take the board out, and it serves as a set of instructions. So it's your instruction guide as well. So that's really neat use of packaging there. And you've got so all the thicknesses of the different thermal pads, where to place screws and where not to place screws and yep. all that sort of stuff. Yeah, really cool. And lastly, we found some new fittings and connectors. So walk us through what we have here, apart from this giant block of them here. <laughs> we'll get back to the giant cube. So we have uh, a very simple set of fittings, actually. There's a soft tube fitting, a hard tube fitting, two rotaries, a 90 and a T, a plug and four sizes of extender. But together, they can be combined into lots of other traditional types of fittings. Okay. So the 90 degree actually has no base at all. Um, you install it with an 8mm hex key. Okay. And it's, it's free to rotate about that, even without the base. And then you can extend it to be, let's say, the size of a traditional 90 degree fitting. Yep. You can make it smaller with just a 7mm extender, or you can make it bigger. Okay. And you can also, because it's so small, screw multiple together. So here we can see two 90s directly next to each other, and then you get two axes of rotation. And also with an extender between, so these have an offset of 28 millimeters. And so if you were to change the, the system configuration, you could essentially take these apart and reconfigure them yep. without having to throw them away and buy different connectors. Yeah. So yep. it's a very, I guess, modular type system. Exactly, yeah. We wanted to make each component as small and simple as it can be. So, you know, you take 190 like this and you can use it in any position you would want a small one or a big one. And it's quite practical just to have lots of them then. Yeah. 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 And you can also do that. <laughs> you can build a cube because uh, they're not just modular in one axis, like in height, but yeah. also in uh, the width to the face as well. Yep. So uh, both directions is 10 and a half millimeters and you can construct them into a cube. So they've had to be screwed through here to connect them all together, is that right? Uh, there's no oh. special piece in there, they're all standard pieces. Okay. It's just like if you start with one T and put another T on that yeah, and yeah. another T on that. I can sort of feel the wriggling, but yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. How much would this be worth? That's about a 400 euro cube. All right, I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> <laughs> just don't roll away. Oh, and just lastly, availability of all of this stuff. Yeah. When, when yep. do we... Uh, so the first block that will become available is for the 5090 Astral, mm -hmm. and that will be during July. Uh, probably the next block to follow that will be the Deltamate CPU block, uh, and then more graphics card blocks. Okay. And the fitting should be along before the end of the year. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. It made my job much easier. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed our coverage of Thermal Grizzly this year. Finally, a big thank you to G-Skill and Trix for helping to make our Computex trip possible this year. G-Skill offers an amazing range of DDR5 memory with AMD Expo support, allowing you to get the most out of your Ryzen processor. And we've been using their Trident Z5 Neo memory in our test systems for years now, as we rely on it to get the best results. We've also started using Trix coolers, and I've got to say the Panorama SE 360 Black is one of the best looking AIOs I've ever seen. The quality of the rotatable display is incredible, and as complex as the design appears, it's remarkably quick and easy to install. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our coverage of Thermal Grizzly this year, and... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 Alright, we'll leave it there. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>